Jade Goody. Since leaving the Big Brother house, Britain's most successful reality TV star has had a full-on three years. There's been boyfriends, babies, and breakups. And all the while, she's appeared just about everywhere and said just about everything. Who paint the Mona Lisa? Pistachio. <laughs> she might not be famous for her brains. I admit to being sick. Or good looks. <laughs> but Jade's about to combine both and set up a beauty salon. Her building team's ready to go. Derek, the designer. Nick, the project manager. Jason, the builder. And best mate, Carly's going to manage it. I'm thinking, what do we do next? Because I haven't got a clue. But they have got the qualifications, the cash, and a lot to get their heads around. I listen, I'm very interested. But soon after they're finished, I'm just like... What was that about again? And whatever happens, we're following Jade's every move. I am just sort of jumping into the deep end. I always tend to do that, just like something, get it, and hopefully it works. So I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Today on Jade's Salon... Oh, no! ..the builders are coming. But Jade's got other things on her mind. I can't cope when things are on top of me. No running away from it's not really an answer, but I can't deal with it. Here you go, girls. So who's going to work for Jade and Carly? They are gorgeous. Recruitment time. So, no, but we feel comfortable with a man waxing me la la. And what is going on between Jade and Jeff? But yet, we're going to get Mummy and Daddy back together, ain't we? Yeah. Yeah, see? Miss Goody, you're a known a half lay. Hello, Bon. Hello, Bon. Oh, sorry, I had to go to the printers and Kai took me. I thought I forgot you never had keys, you think, Bon? No, you got the keys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. What I can't. First plan is that we're going to knock down this wall here. <laughs> this is going to come flying at you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. You've got to do it. It's your funnel. <laughs> Go on. Smash it. This isn't a murder inquiry. We need to get access to the place, so you don't tape the door over. <laughs> this is the first house I've actually ever, ever owned. Um, so it's a bit sad to go. And also, it's the first house that me and Jeff has ever owned together. Um, we bought it to bring our kids up in. But it's not ideal anymore because there's too many stairs in here and I can't hack it, so I'll see you later, ass. Mm. Bobby's and Freddie's memory box. Bobby's first Christmas. 
We're on a Bobby's first bay, you guys. When um, it's quite sweet. It's Bobby's. It was when I was in back to reality. I was pregnant with Freddie, but I didn't know. And um, me and Jeff weren't talking. But he made this for me, and he it on the back of it and pulled it in my case. To my mate, it, I'm so proud of you and can't wait to see you. <laughs> we took Bobby, me and Jeff took Bobby to um, the world's super bike at Brian's Hatch thing. We didn't realise it was going to be loud. <laughs> this is Bobby's first Gucci show. Bobby's first ever little swimming trunks. <laughs> this is Bobby's first invite to the Savoy. He was Bobby George Brazier. Then we changed it to Bobby Jack because apparently there's a man called Bobby George and he's a big, fat, famous dart player. So we changed it to Bobby Jack. That's it. And that was his little tag. The small yours. That's it. Yeah, if you can just take all that stuff and then maybe just drop the van back off to me, you can take the X5 and just do what you've got to do in that. Right, so what are you going to... Loading about um... everything that's left in the ass that I need to take, and then that's it. I'm doing it, and it's all done then. Boom! See, so, yeah, I literally Boom. cut to pieces now. You cut to pieces now. Since Jade and Jeff has got on better together, Jeff has the children as much as Jade does, which is really good. And like, because I've had a lot of people saying to me, "Oh, because Ryan's gone now, is Jeff and Jade back together?" No, no. You know, and if they are, I don't bloody know, because none of them told me, you know. Sure you want the sofa bed? Yes, I need the sofa bed. <laughs> I also did tea once before, you didn't want it. Jeff came over for Sunday dinner last week when I was up, which was really nice. They spent a couple of hours on their own. When I come upstairs, Jeff was laying on her lap and she was rolling his head. I think they're great together. You know, you think you're on the last step, but you're not. Oh, keep going. One, two, three, four. You're on the last step. Jade and Jeff, they got back together, it would be very, very nice. And then they make their whole family bigger, which would be Jade's dream family, which she's always wanted. But yet, we're going to get Mummy and Daddy back together, ain't we? Hey, big boy. Yeah. Yeah, see? Freddie said yeah. What are you saying? All right. Um, today's the first day at the builders there. So Bobby's got his truck to his hard hat. Yeah. All right, Freddie. Come on then. Here. Freddie's got mummy's team oh, on. Yeah. Oh, look at my little boy. Bye, babe. Say hello. Oh, oh. Hello, Jay. Got me right. He's fine. First thing first, you want rations. <laughs> These are your tea bags. You'll have two tea bags per day. If you have any more than two tea bags per day, then I'm going to not pay the VAT or whatever that is. Thank you very much. Yeah. Also, the other thing is, oh. what you want? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's just my size and colour. It's not a good one. Though. No, I think colour. They're all winning swaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Quite pink. <laughs> yeah. I'd just like to say that my career is going so well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more macho work, I look. All you got to do is undo one, two, three screws there, and undo these screws here. Yeah, ain't coming out! Ow! <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Ow! That's it. Oh! So push it in. As you're undoing it, you've got to push in. Oh, that's it, Jay. Oh, my God! I'm not being funny, but are you playing me or am I playing you? I'm not being funny, but who is here on time? Look, Carly was going to bring you cakes tomorrow, and I was actually going to let her, but now, whoo, whoo, standing around drinking tea <laughs> while I'm doing drilling. Jason, why are you on your phone? I'm not. I'm sorting things out. <laughs> no, why are you just standing around with a piece of paper in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? What are you doing? 
waiting for you to get the door off. I've got an idea. Every time I turn around and you're standing there, that's the plan deducted! Off the VAT! Appearance, next person you meet will be a customer. <laughs> I hate ladders. <laughs> nice builders, bums. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> So what happening now? This is it now, it's all like sort of happening. Say bye, say bye to all the builders. Yeah. We've put an ad in the paper um, and we've also written some little cards to stick in shops and that. Um, we've advertised for staff. We've had such a good result from that. We've had so many phone calls. And me and Carly are interviewing 50, 50 people. Um, and out of the 50, we're gonna pick the best ones out of them that we like and to us and to come back for round two. So I thought I might make it a bit more fun. They're never gonna get to it again. So um, we and Carly thought, yeah, let's do something like the X Factor, but obviously we can't quit the X Factor. So we said the Wax Factor. We don't know. <laughs> what questions are we going to ask them? We don't know what questions we're going to ask them. No, we're going to, we know their name, date of birth, the experience they've had, like when they were qualified and where they've worked, and the telephone number. So That's we're it. Just they got the job them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we should ask them where they see themselves in five years, because if they say, I want to set up this big empire of beauty salons, we're going to be like, they're definitely not getting a job. <laughs> should I ask the kitchen if they've got an egg timer? <laughs> Ding! Right, time's up. Yeah. Thanks, bye. Let's crack on. All right, bring Ingrid in. Hi, Laura, sorry to keep you waiting. That's all right. Hello, I'm Carly. Hello. Nice to meet you. What would you say is one of your best qualities in yourself? Bubbly, outgoing. What would you say is one of your worst qualities? I tend to talk a lot. <laughs> Got any hobbies? Oh. Danielle, thanks for your time, Dan. Yeah, thank you brilliant. Very much. Thank you. Next person. Yeah, do you know what? But I'm writing things, and I, there's no point because I actually can't even understand what I'm writing. It's all spelt awfully wrong. So I'm just going to go by your ones. If there's any points that I think that I'm just going to bring them down, I'll just pretend I'm writing so I look good. <laughs> Why do you want to work in Jade Salon? I'm Carly. I'm Jay. Hi, Art. Nice to meet you. Say you did some of nails and you did something wrong, like you cut her nail too short or you, you filed her skin down and she was a miserable moaning client and she was moaning and moaning about it. How do you deal with this client? Well, she say sorry would be the first thing. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Time. Take care. Bye bye. bye. She is only qualified in nails at the minute, but to be fair, Carly, I can't do nails. I'm crap at nails and some of you, so. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, I'm Carly. I'm Jade, nice to meet you. Where's Zara? Hey, I'm Carly, nice to meet you. Hiya. Have you got any hobbies or anything like that? Yeah. Any interests? Um, have you got any hobbies or anything like that? Have you got any hobbies? Hobbies? Hobbies or anything like that? We're not very good at listening to him, like he's our first time. <laughs> have you worked on a reception before? No. Have you got any idea, like, how it would work or what you would Answering the phone like that. <laughs> <laughs> really cute, but okay. too young. I remember thinking, mm, what are you going to my mum? I remember crying at one point. Mm -hmm. Crying to mum, nobody wants me. I don't want to like, let some girl go and cry to their mum saying she don't want uh, me. Right, yeah. We're running really behind now. Hiya, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Carly. Nice to meet you. Where would you like to see yourself in how many? Five. In five years? Um, or three years? 
What would you say the best qualities are in yourself and your um, worst qualities? I'm bubbly and I'm outgoing and I love sitting there talking to people all day, so that's why I love doing my nails. Yeah. She thinks she's too nice, I'm yeah, going to pull. Nice. <laughs> okay. Take a seat. Um, so you qualified in level two, so you do everything. You do bikini waxing and yeah. everything. I hate to be fine at our room. I don't know why, because it's wrong, actually, to discriminate and say you're beautiful for women. I, actually, uh, I just thought... God, yeah, I'm the only bikini. man at my health college. OK. Yeah, bikini waxing's fine. Uh, before I did one, I was thinking, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable with a man waxing me, Lala. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, in there, nice. Yeah. But maybe just say to him, we don't know how well it's going to work, Kevin, because mm. we don't know what our clients are like, but you'll be more than welcome to come and do manicures, pedicures. Yeah. What we would like is a camp or gay receptionist, just because I think they're absolutely endearing. And to be a woman and to walk into a salon and to have this so camp lovely gay man, lovely, lovely man. Like, oh, would you like a tea? Oh, would you like a tea? Oh, would you like a tea? They don't speak like that, so I'm so very sorry for all you gay people out there. I know you don't speak like that. <laughs> Hi, you Michael. All right? I'm Jade. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Carly. Nice right? to meet you. Um, ring, 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 ring. Hello, Jane Salmon. How can I help you this morning? You OK there? <laughs> I was looking for the token gay role, but, you know. That's what we want. We want to get good gay who say, are you gay? Yeah, I am. What would you say uh, your three qualities are? Um, slightly weird. Weird? In a good way. Why are you weird? I don't, I just gone up behind an old person and went, fireworks, and right in her ear, and she sort of got a bit freaked out. But well, that's... I actually like old people very much, and that could no, have been don't my nan. Well. <laughs> I like old people as well. I do, I do. I do weird I things. Might I might be a scare bit old too. Old grannies. Got when he said fireworks. <laughs> fireworks! <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> I was thinking, that could be my nan. All right, we will have to tell you. We're going to have to wind his neck down. <laughs> Hell of a loss. Wait, is this his name? Michael. <laughs> Michael, that is a Wait, funny... Wait, Michael, wind your neck down. <laughs> He's popping out your collar too much. Oh, that is a funny... I've never heard that before. That's so funny. Wind your neck down. Wind your neck down. Wind your How many people have we seen? 45 plus 7 free extras. 40... 48! 48, but then we had about four no-shows, so... Right, uh, definite. Yeah. And we put her to one side. One. We take yeah, that woman. Yeah, put her to one side. She wanted to give you all cakes and stuff, and I was like, no, they need to do their work. But I actually eat my words now. Cake on, cake on. That's the boy, girl. Good boy. Good girl. Ooh. Ooh. Cake on, McKinney, as much as they want, they've done so well. But build, most builders aren't like that. Most builders just sit around all day and drink tea. There's not any, even any water in this. Ever look. <laughs> What's 2750 oh. wasted? Do you want some cake? Oh, yes. Is it a macaroon? I'm a bit Lovely, thank you. Cherry bake right. will. Cheers, Carl. Right. These are really tasty. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Really tasty. Mm. 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 What's wrong, Jade? Oh, um, I've just got personal problems, but then, um, I can't cope when things are on top of me. No running away from it's not really an answer, but I can't deal with it. I've just got loads to do. I've got to move home, I've got to move home in less than a week. I've got to pack everything up, I've got to unload everything. I've got to get locks changed, I've got to get the boys sorted out. I've got... It sounds like nothing to most people, I mean, it sounds like nothing, but trying to do that and working and doing this. I've been off too much of an apple at once. I don't 
probably going to be like this for another couple of weeks and then once you get settled in your new home, it'll be much better. Well, the show must go away. Are you sugared? Thank you very much. Um, Cheers, Jack. Hot smashing. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> is this this new stuff stuff? That stuff is dangerous. Fibre glass. It's got like really good cheese. People are allergic to it. Glass fibres. Glass fibres. But glass is in there. Glass fibres, fibres of little bits of glass. So I can cut you. Fiberglass. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but so that can cut you. No, it can't cut you, but it makes you. It itchy. does feel rough though, don't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not very nice stuff. And what's the um? Like that asbestos stuff? Is it like white? Powder? That's what I thought this was asbestos. No, that's plastic. Oh dear. No asbestos here. Yeah. How do you know that these are asbestos? This is plasterboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I was to start just getting it and. Yeah, no, it's going to make me come up in a rash or something, you nutter. <laughs> Tiny bit. Okay. See you off now. You're off now, yep. See you later, Jake. Mm. See you tomorrow. Half day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we don't later. work, we don't work. See you later, good work, boys. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. <laughs> Jade Good is opening a beauty salon. Oh my god, Carly, look what I've done. But the shop's not the only thing on her mind. She's moving house with the help of ex boyfriend Jeff. Boom! <laughs> yep, we're going to get Mummy and Daddy back together, ain't we? Yeah! Yeah, see? And after all the months of planning, work has finally commenced. Doing this salon business is been oh, hectic, been like a roller coaster to be fair. I've been up and down, round and around. <laughs> and actually now, actually for once, I'm actually on the roller coaster and not feeling sick. So it's actually quite nice, because all the other times I've just felt like wanting to get off for the ride and just thinking, be done with it. But I'm actually quite excited. It's probably the only thing I'm actually looking forward to at the minute, because the house is getting on top of me, everything is getting on top of me, other than the salon. I'm moving out today, there's loads to clear out. My mum's come down to help me. Whew, I've got a crack on now. Yeah. Pissing me off that there's all the photographers here because I just sort of look at what I put in my trash and stuff like that, and then they'll see me putting something in that they might think is perfectly fine, but really I wouldn't be throwing things away if they weren't. So, like, so for example, the light I threw away, it, it doesn't work anymore, but to them they don't know that. So when they give it to a magazine, Jade throws stuff away, it just pisses me off because I'm not like that. Oh, I always give my stuff to people. Yes, no, no, no. Not Mummy, no, thank you. Stupid little sod. Hello? Egg off, okay? Egg off. Stop ringing me phone and egg off. You're a moron. You're a moron. Egg off. I just got someone ringing my phone, just not saying nothing, like getting off on the, my breath or something. Hello? Sorry, who's that? No, you got the wrong number. Bye. Trini. Am I Trini? Hello? No, you've got the wrong number, it's not Nicola. That's all right. Trini, Nicola, anyone else? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, all right. Okay, well, you're scary. Go away. 
Oh, hello. I've had people ring up the work phone, but I've had people leave messages, random, a random grown man, about 30, leaving a message down my phone saying, go and kill yourself, you fat blonde slag. And who cares if you get your kebab out? Go and get some lunch. And I just think, oh my God, you're probably someone's dad and you're ringing up me, like, to leave an abusive message on my phone. I just think it's like, you know, I just think, what is the point? If, if, if you don't like me, that's fine. And if you, don't, if you think that I'm a waste of space and stuff, that's fine. But remember, you're telling somebody who's got two children to go and kill herself. Hello? Oh, piss. I'm really getting annoyed now. I just thought, you donut, you're such a donut to be ringing up my phone, wasting your phone bill on me when you're saying that you actually don't care about me. Why are you even ringing me then? Is it hard work? Very much so. Very hard work. She's draining. This is me, mate. It's my new boyfriend since the other one went missing. I've now got this one. He's really good because he doesn't sort of bounce back or anything. He just um, is really cuddly and stuff. The night time, so that's nice just to cuddle up to someone. And he's got great man boobs. I have to be careful because he tries to nick my bra sometimes. <laughs> no, you <ain't. laughs> um, um, I'm on my way to the shop. We're nearly there, actually. Um, we're going to all that blue stuff that we started trying to peel off the windows the other day. We're just um, going to go and get our fingers stuck into that and try and help with whatever we can, really. We've not seen the builders for a bit just to let them know that we're still alive and we appreciate what they're doing. When I last went in there, they were only in there for two days and they did an absolute amazing job. Um, so I'm a bit anxious to see what it looks like today. I can't stand people like that. You just say, all right, just drive past and call me a fat bitch. You knobhead. Complete and utter knobhead. Can you see who's got a sign up? I think you're well sexy. Oh, do you? I was asking you to call me a fat bitch. Uh, that was him. You're a bit old, didn't you? You're a bit old, didn't you? You should have a little bit more responsibility. And the man that called me a fat bitch is absolutely about a size 20. Jesus Christ. If he said it weren't him and it was his mate, Jesus, you know, you've got a complex, did not you? Size 20 and calling me a fat bitch? Cheek. I might be a size 16 and I may like me cakes, but I ain't a size 20. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, oh, my God! Kylie, look at you! <laughs> How good! They are big! It's brilliant, brilliant. I love it. These are our treatment rooms. I'm very excited that they're up. James, it's brilliant. I can't believe it. They're nice. They're nice in treatment rooms, really. Well, they're nice size. Yeah, nice size. Nice. But nothing you want. Thank you very much. That's all right. Nice so good. Hey, everyone talk well. John's idea, he's got your little present yeah, for the oh. shop. But you've got to promise that somewhere in the shop that you actually put it. Oh, they're getting us back for the T-shirts. No, no, it's nice. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's a bit classy. Yeah, it's a bit classy. All right, we promise this. That's really nice of yours. It's a water feature, a tranquility water fountain. Oh. Yeah. It's very expensive. Oh, it's so cute. Oh no, that is really, really nice. Actually, five. We're probably in each room. That's it. You put them oh, in Oh, it's so cute. Oh, thanks, boys. Oh. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, they're so nice. Thanks, boys. It's OK. Oh, God, I've got to pay these. I've got two in the car and all. You've got six at home and these three. Fuck. We've got to get them paid. I will, so I will. We'll pay them for £30, not wait until they get to 60 quid. Oh no, the ones in doors have got 60 quid. Right, 60, so, um, 60 quid. £360. No, I'm not paying them. No. <laughs> I'm not paying them. Have you in prison? Of course you've got to pay them. <laughs> I'm not in prison because I'm a parking ticket. What do you do? You get arrested. I don't Shut up. You get arrested. They send you out. They do. So, it's the equivalent to going.
guys shoplifting in a, in a, in a big shop. No, they don't. All right, no, no, no. I'm taking you to prison because you ain't sold parking tickets. They do send a warrant out, honestly. No, I don't believe you. Well, it's Jake. She's not working today. She's in prison for the first six weeks for the salon. Dodging parking tickets. Right, let's get on. These men are working their socks off. Come on. Kylie gives our house for two minutes. It's a good job you girls don't get bored easily, isn't it? You can sweep the floor. Yeah, but we sweep the floor, you're just going to get it dirty again. I know, but a clean site's a happy site. Alright. Kylie, it's the first time we've been here, stand on the floor. I know, we're probably doing this every night at like six o'clock. We're taking pride in doing it, actually. First time I'm sweeping the salon floor. Hmm. People are probably thinking, what the hell? It's just a floor. But, um, it was my floor. I have achieved so much and already and I'm only 24 and I just think that people forget how old I am sometimes and I just sort of think she should be acting more sensible, she's got children or what's she doing going out. Well really, if you think about it, what were they doing when they were 24? They were doing probably the same but not getting told off about it. So to speak, I'm only really still a baby. I have grown up a lot because I've had to, but really I am still just a kid. Oh my god, are you alright? I feel awful, Kylie. Well, what was she drinking? I don't know. I was shaking this morning. Yes. Yeah, I've been... Look at your eyes. Oh. Shit. Did you ask Mike to drink? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do this today. I've got no joys, but I don't want to. Wait, what was she drinking? I don't know. Um, rock and lime and lemonade. And, um... What are you like? We've got the wax factor! I know, and I'm not really with it. I'll sort myself out. A little bit of makeup or something might help. Hey, I can't believe you don't ever get hangovers. I know, girlie, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't like it. I just woke up this morning. Can literally... someone put some drugs aside and you drink? I wish I did. I had a good time. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I woke up, I slept in my clothes. And, um... You ain't got a bra on, have you? No. <laughs> We've got knickers on. No. <laughs> oh my god. What are you like? <laughs> What's my sister like? She's coming back. <laughs> yeah, we was all had we all had drink. Yeah, you know when you're just drunk because that one comes in. Lover, lover. <laughs> Shit! Oh, they're gonna bring their own stuff. Yes, time to bring their own oh, stuff. Good girl. Yeah, but just because I didn't know what college I had, they're bringing their own stuff. They're all coming in uniform. Yeah. Um, the Michael, the receptionist, I've left him two messages. He has one with her because I don't know if he's coming today or not. But I'm a bit worried Thanks. about this, Michael, then. What we're doing today is auditioning for our staff at the Wax Factor. Simon Cow, forget about the X Factor. It's all about the Wax Factor. Carly, what do you have to say on the Wax Factor? <laughs> 14 candidates. And we've only got to get five staff for the no. Wax Factor. <laughs> wax Factor. Here we go. What's that? <laughs> right, everyone. Um, thanks for coming. Sorry I kept waiting. And if I get too close, you let me know because I do smell a little bit of alcohol today. Yeah. 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 Y
Going back to my old college today, where I qualify at Brentwood Academy, I'm going to get me tutors to help me judge all the girls. I've got Jackie that owns the college, and I've also got Jackie that was my tutor, and Karen from Jessica Nails, they're going to be the judges for today. Me and Kylie would like to have done it, but I think we're going to be so busy doing other things, running about, looking after everyone, I don't know, just being busy as we are. I think we're going to have time. <laughs> You need, to treat, you need to do this as if you are actually working in the salon and as if you can't actually just come in, so you need to go through consultations, can't even say the word. You need to, obviously, what would you do? Would you take their jurif? Would you leave them? You know, you need to do it as if these are your clients you've never met them before, you're introducing yourself and telling them what you're doing. So good luck, girls, and crack on. Yeah, Off you go, girls. Probably hope I didn't have it anymore. Oh, well. <laughs> right, <clears throat> a little bit of role play. So, <laughs> just call this on the salon, Jade Salon at the minute, right. yeah? Uh, ring, 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 ring. Good afternoon, Jade Salon. How can I help? It's Lisa from the News of the World. Um, I've been told that you've got underage staff there. Right. What can you tell me? Um, I can't comment on this because obviously. I don't know where this know. is coming Sorry, from. Sorry, I don't know your name, but um, this, this could be worth a while. I can, you know, I can maybe put some money in your back pocket or I can, you know, I can, you know, we can help each other here. Obviously, again, I can't comment on any of that. I mean, I don't know where that's come from. Um, so, um, so basically you're saying that you can't comment. So when people say they can't comment, that means that they're hiding something. And so if you ever do want to ring up, take my number and, you know, it could be worth your while sometime. Um, are you interested in doing anything like that? Not really, no. All right then, thank you. All right, thanks. <laughs> thank you. Like Kiara, me and Kylie just a little chat out here, so professional. Um, we want to offer you the job. All right. Then. So, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Ending. How long does it take you to do the step, Danielle? An hour and a half. Yeah. It can take me up to two and a half hours. Okay. While you're all clear up, I'm just going to take the girls upstairs for the start of the waiting. Danielle? We want you to do um, a leg wax, just the front of one leg. We'll be up in ten minutes checking your work. Good luck. How are you feeling, Hayley? Uh, a little bit nervous. Is that all right? Is it too painful? Let's have a look. Yeah, what you'd want to hear after care advice, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you come up in any reaction because the weather's a bit hot, just take an antihistamine or something and take it down. Yeah, be relaxed. Really like, really, you know her? Oh, introduce yeah. yourself because he knows your name and that. All right. Good luck, girls. Jesus. Do you Why think? I don't. We've still got two weeks sitting at yeah, the Yeah, what we do is when they finish the waxing, the first three that finish there will go upstairs and then the, now people will move forward and then we'll just do it around like a thing. Maybe I just need to chill out. <laughs> You're doing fine, listen, you're doing all the talking, you're doing really well. I feel like it's kind of a shambles, I feel oh, so nice. Jake, you've never done this before. How are you feeling? Um, a little bit nervous, but hopefully it'll be okay. Just let me know if that's too cool. <laughs> No. If you, we need to sit. No, okay, no. no. Not to have a sun bed within 24 hours. Don't have a hot bath tonight or hot shower. And no. Hayley, what aftercare advice would you give? Uh, no. Oh God. No. It's fine. Don't worry, Hayley. Okay, lovely. How do you think you went? Oh God, it was rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, I really messed it up. Um, to return for waxing from three to six weeks. Um, I've been very nervous today because I was really sort of eager to sort of work in the salon. I have been for a long time, especially for Jade as well. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Well done, Gemma. Thank you. The painted olive, Danielle. About four of them that are all at the same. <sighs> right, I don't know what you want to do, Carly, because we need to start sending paper home now. Um. There's a few that we're not happy with, take too long and stuff like that. So we're going up to have a chat with now. I'm nervous because it's horrible. Ten years I'm not going to do it. Shit, I feel scared. That so. is horrible. 
<laughs> oh, Lucy, all right. Um, Frank McConnell for the job. Lucy, thanks for being so understanding. Obviously, we can't offer you the position. I've been in your situation more than once, a thousand times. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. How was it? Horrible. Not very nice at all. Well, we've got left. Right, so we've got Healy Nichols. Yeah, she'll be your good yes. all rounder. Yeah, she's yes. yes. And then we've got Claire Harris as well, which is a well, yeah. experienced all rounder. She, she was good. She was good. Her waxing was good. So we've got Gemma Cook. Yeah, Gemma's waxing. Oh, I was really good. like Gemma. Makeup is what she specialises in, but she, everything that we've seen of her so brilliant. far has been excellent. And then we've got Kevin. Kevin. I love oh, Kevin. Kevin. I couldn't be the ears. I think it's it's Kevin, you've not got the. I couldn't do it. I, I think he'll be completely different in the salon. I think yeah. he'll be different yeah. in the salon. Okay, we've got our staff then. Mm. So and that's four. Only ones that are here. And yeah, you're five, definitely. so that's fine. And me five, and the reception is six, and then you, and Whenever. then that's fine. So we've got our four people. Right, Kylie, do you want to go and get them over? Kaylee, do you want to come through? Hey, I'm really sorry, but we've kept you all this time. She's said that you've not got the job. Ah. <laughs> 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 no, I'm only joking. Um, we're really, really happy with your work. Really good at what you do. What We've you kept you waiting right all this time just because. I'm sorry, you've That's not right, got the position. Right, right. Nah, I'm only joking. You've got the job. Congratulations, um, Claire. Um, yeah, and um, thank congratulations. Well done. Ooh, Take care, Claire. Hello. Congratulations. You got the job. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, and Carly. Oh, Kevin, be happy. You've got the job. <gasps> Have a congratulations. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh. Next time on Jade's Salon. I mean, I'm Edinburgh, which is Glasgow. There's problems with Derek. Do you want to your shop? I'm only a designer. I think it's nice. Will the shop ever be ready? My fellow went to be opening six days, and I don't think it's going to be. And it's the night of the Salon launch party. He's going to take me a catastrophe. Yeah. Will it be a success? I don't know. I just, I don't know. We just. Confidence has just gone out the window. I just feel shit. To you cheddars out there that have been ringing me non mugging, stop and hanging up the phone, let me tell you this you're a bunch of wankers. This is a temporary number. Do you really think I would give my real mobile number out to a bunch of losers like yourself? Good luck with your life. I'm moving on and so is my number. Friend, I'll text you tomorrow. Who will be Britain's next top model? The UK series continues Wednesday at 9. Brand new and exclusive to Living TV. This week, the girls have to try and impress the editor of Heat magazine. Next tonight, all new Grey's Anatomy, exclusive to Living TV. Jade Salon is finally opening for business. What could possibly go wrong? My dream turns into a nightmare. You think something all your little life, then you plan something, you do it, and it just goes crumbling like a big fat catastrophe. Okay? Don't miss the series finale of Jade Salon, a double episode next Monday at 8, only on Living TV.